everyone, my name is Pelescent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 11. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Hermitcraft. <laughs> so, hi. Uh, yeah, I got sick for about a week, uh, but I'm all good now. As you can hear, I sound fine. But, you know, as many of you may know, if you've seen the other Hermits episodes while I've been gone, the Diamond Pillar competition has found its conclusion. And this happened while I was ill, but I do have footage because I was there. Now, seeing as it's kind of, you know, old news at this point, uh, I'm going to play the group clip in a little bit of a summarized form to get you guys all caught up to the present time. And just in case anybody wants to see like the longer cut of it, I'm actually going to upload that on my second channel, Pelescent Moo, and I will leave a link down in the description for you guys if you still want to see the longer version of it. So let's waste no more time and roll that clip. Scar and Pearl, I don't know if you've seen what's been going on over here, but the Diamond Block Bros have kind of been teaming up and they almost built it uh, all the way to the top and it looks like Scar, did you do that? <laughs> yes, I ambled it from the top. It's a magic uh, elven anvil. Absolutely It genius. looks amazing. So I was thinking we could end this because I don't know about you, I'm, well, I'm out of diamonds. Um, it's. I, I reckon we could we could end this by teaming up because all we would have to do is link up Pearl's tower to my tower using your diamond ore scar, and then boom, we're done. Should we should we put an end to this? Because I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, I've had enough. Yeah, no, I, I've, I I've, I've mined enough as well. I can't, to, to dude. I, I can't. I can't either. I not even more. I that's it. I'm done. All right. I've got these. Do these count at this point. <laughs> Is this count? No, right, let's, oh. let's take a let's take a stack each and get this thing finished. Let's go to no no. Scott, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that little nugget. Hey. Scott, why? <laughs> it needs to be. It needs to follow the the invisible rules that we've set for ourselves. So it needs to be at least like too thick, right? Oh no. Hey. Uh oh. Uh, I think I think we've been cubbed. Scar, I'm gonna go and mine your one down a little bit so we can get some more diamond ore. Why has everyone cub. got beards? Right? <laughs> kind of insulting. I can't really grow a beard in real life. Oh, oh no. They're building things. Wait, here. Uh, that looks suspiciously like something. This is the point where we want to be a little bit proactive and start mining Scar's tower ASAP. There's no questioning. Wait, I got 30 Whatever more. Doc's I got doing 30 is crazy. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Half a heart. I'm telling you, every single, every single time, it's always me. It's me, the one that's gonna die. You know, it's just me always dying. Always dying every single time. <laughs> what was that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is that thing? It's like a TNT slug going across the sky. Excuse me. I can hear, I can hear them. I can oh, hear them plotting. I hit you. Again. I hit impulse. Oh, that was actually good. That's... I don't know where. <laughs> oh, I'm going down, boys. They're building some themselves a little blockade. What are they doing? Hold, they on, got... hold on, I got a stick in it. It's got a stick in it. You got. You got to be two, two by two. I've I got two more blocks. No, I got the I thickies. I got more. it. Hold on. <laughs> Thicken it here. I think. it up, Pearl. We did it. We won. No, you didn't. We did it. Yes, we did. Oh my goodness, Scar. You are absolute stellar. There's a pile of cookies here for salt. Uh, no! I'm not oh, eating cookies. Almost! I've two shot him. How is he not dead? Were you saying something about cookies, Scar? I thought I heard cookies. We were trying to enjoy cookies, Pearl, and they disturbed our cookies. I oh, know, I got some cookies ready. So did we win? That's good cookie. Huh? I guess. Right? Is he gonna spawn another ten gas or something weird? Is there gonna be a wither that comes out of there? Knowing Doc, it, it could like very he's well be. A restroom. Dude, why is he giving us the stink eye? <laughs> Why wouldn't I you be? Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> can you take this away from me, please? Okay, I can hold on to it Thank for you. now. <laughs> Thank you. It's if me how many times you kill me. If I keep it, I can't tell you what's gonna happen. I might end up just shooting you guys. Hot guy! Hey! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Hot guy! <laughs> so, I just, I'm just thinking, like, now that we've, um, we've kind of completed the challenge from... Oh. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, hey! They've taken a, oh. taken a chunk of our tower! Oh, they actually hit! I thought they exploded themselves! There we go! Not hey! Exactly not why did you get a new one? That's a no connection. That's not a win. That's not. Oh. 
I got it. Man, that bow is so powerful. I know, I just knocked. Oh, oh there no, it it's going again. Wait, if we can shoot the TNT in there. Oh, it's good. That's got to be I missed. I missed. They surrender. GG. I mean, I warned them about gravity. They didn't quite listen. That was that was a surprisingly fun conclusion to this. What are you doing with those trapdoors? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. So I, I was, I was on my. Oh, oh hold on. Let me, yeah. let me. Let Come me. through. Yep. Uh, I was oh, on my. Oh, look what you done. You made the floor all stinky. XP. Wait, what? <laughs> it's stinky <laughs> what floor. <happened? laughs> you released the bin juice. What are you done, oh, mate? Oh, that's. That's not good. I mean. What do you mean? You're in a trash shop. Wow. It's exactly on theme. Exactly. <laughs> well, uh, you know, speaking of trash, yeah. um, I have some trash for you, I guess. Ooh. I was just on my way to my shop to see if I sold anything. Oh, do I get to sell this uh, trash? And, uh, I mean, I mean, you, you can. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh, th this is not trash, uh, XP. <laughs> What is this? No, so so <laughs> you know how we did the diamond tower thing, right? Yeah. Well, I I vowed that I would give my diamonds to whoever won. But and since there were three winners and I had three stacks of diamond blocks, one stack is for you. This is a bit much though. Like I mean, I mean you've given us diamonds so and we have these giant pillars out there you, you, i really don't right, need more but, diamonds but XP, did like. you did you see it look how pretty it is it, it is great but this isn't trash it's a diamond block, this is very valuable not diamond ore exactly diamond and that's exactly the reason why you should be keeping super. this because uh i can't take that <laughs> I, I can't take that xp <laughs> not having it <laughs> what do you mean what that's a whole stack of diamond blocks it's, look how shiny they are yeah they're look, great you can even but do this that's another reason why you should keep them, all right? It's Otherwise, you're, you're gonna be poor. If you're giving away all your diamonds, you're gonna be poor, and I can't have that, all right? Oh, I never thought it would be so hard to give away diamonds. Of course <laughs> it is. I can't let you do like, that. You the can... Scar had to duel for it, and you're just like, nah, I don't want them. They stink. Well, you, you... Something about stinky floors. Well, if they were stinky, stuff. I would want them, because trash. Oh. <gasps> Oh, maybe if I... What? Oh, what oh no, 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 that's okay. Ah, um, oh, what was that? No, no, ah, no, we're good. Excuse we're me? Good. Bye, Pearl. Oi! Hey! See ya. Excuse me? Well, there we have it. We are now caught up to the recent time. And you know what? I, um, I've actually been a bit flying around the server a little bit in the meantime. And I've seen something a little new at my shop that we need to go check out. Also, check out the shopping district because lots of things have been happening. Like it appears, for one, we have a root now, uh, which looks to be what all of these magenta terracotta blocks are. And there's more shops. Look, Scar's got a shop here. I don't actually know what that is, uh, but it looks terrifying. <laughs> Someone let me know in the comments who that shop is, if it is a shop. And uh, of course, we've got Green's Entity over there, which we had last time. There is a new shop behind my shop with an iron golem and a slime. We have a panda with a honey pot. Also, what looks to be a pumpkin building. I'm not sure what this place is selling, but my gosh, lots of things have been happening as per usual, but we are not here to look around or shop at the moment. We are here to look at this. Look at it. It's a tiny little XB egg. <laughs> what has he done? What's he done? What's going on? Hold on. Let me just get somewhere safe here. Caution. Wait, why, why, why is there a caution? Also, look at the tiny little XB egg. Can I keep that? Can I keep that tiny little XB egg? It's so adorable. But why is there a caution on my dumpster? <laughs> XB. I, I told him I didn't want his diamonds. I still don't. Look, I kind of said that I kind of would take them if they were stinky. And it looks like he's done just that. That is a very pungent smell arising from these diamonds right here. And they kind of look a little moldy as well. Um, you know what? I'm glad I'm in my trusty uh, worker gear right now because it seems like I need to go diamonds diving in my own dump. Wait, hold on. My own dumpster. What's this? Clippings from Coralis' season seven haircut. Why have you kept these around for so long, XP? Wait, are there any more items named? What's this? 
The chicken nugget hypno lost under the couch. Oh, gross. That's got to be moldy. Vegemite? Vegemite doesn't belong in the trash. Excuse me, XP. Burnt caput bag steak. What is what is caput bag? I, I feel real silly right now. I don't actually know what that is. My knowledge of food isn't that great. I apologize. <laughs> burnt though. It does, say, it does look mighty burnt. Pre-approved credit card offer. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? Pearl's car's extended warranty. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. These are fantastic. XP. Week old Taco Bell. Oh, gross. Oh, and there's one here. Hold on. Caution, stinky diamonds. Stinky diamonds. I see what he did there. I, I said I wouldn't take his diamonds unless they were stinky and he made them stinky. But you know what? I, I, I don't think they're stinky enough. I can't stand for this. I can't stand. I need to pick out all these diamonds. We need to go diving in the trash to pick up all of the diamonds he's left behind. And uh, we're going to do something with these because we, we can't take these. <laughs> we, we can't take this, guys. There's, this was there's way too many diamonds. Plus, I have plenty from the diamond pillow war. Like, I'm I'm good. I, I don't I don't need these. XB needs these more than I do at this point. So I'm going to pick all these up and uh, yeah, do something with them. You know what I will do, though, is I am actually going to leave all the rest of this stuff in here because it kind of does kind of add to the, you know, the, the, the dumpster, <laughs> the dumpster feeling inside until at least I uh, do something with this space. And it looks like we have 63 blocks of diamonds. And I remember in that clip, he gave us 64 and the last one there's got to be this one right up here. So I'm just going to grab the stinky diamond as well. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let me just take this thing. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find a way to give these diamonds back to XP, potentially without him noticing. So I need to go find his base and hopefully find a place to hide these. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what am I doing? Oh dear. Huh. Okay, okay. We're fine. Oh, yep, this is it. Okay, this is XB's base. He's got like, I think it's a train cart underneath in this cave. Massive. Now, where do I hide a stack of 64 diamond blocks until he, you know, possibly can't find these until it's too late where he has to accept them? Um... Hmm. He's gonna see them underneath here. I cannot. I can't put them underneath there. No way. XP, these stairs are far too big for my little legs. I'm just saying. Whoa, this is so cute. So it looks like me living in a big train. You know what? The diamonds look sort of similar to copper. What if we kind of just like decorated his like train cart with them and put them along the edge of these copper blocks? He won't, he won't notice, right? He won't notice. Yeah, no, he won't notice. This will be fine. All right, I, I need building blocks. I need building blocks to get up there. I think this can work out. Do, 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 I have covered up all of the uh, horizontal slots that I can, and I still have another 24 blocks of diamonds. In fact, I might even hide this one somewhere secret, but I still have another 23 blocks of diamonds I have to build with. But you know what? That's a, that, that kind of blends in quite nicely. You know, XB, I think you should keep that. Doesn't look too bad. You think you'll notice, guys? You think, think you'll notice? How long is it going to take him to notice? <laughs> Now, where to put these last ones? Aha, I have an idea. What about outside of the tram cart? Yes. Yeah, nah, he, he won't notice those straight away. It just looks like a detail of his train cart. Nah, he won't notice that. Okay, that works. Now, the last diamond, the stinky diamond. I actually need an item frame. I didn't think to bring the one that I had with me. Boop, boop. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to put it... You know what? We could put it smack bang right in the middle of the ceiling. So essentially what I'm doing here is this is going to give XP a little bit of a chance to see this, but he has to just happen to look up right in the middle of his ceiling in order to see this thing. Otherwise, it's going to be super hard to find, especially with the item frame invisible. It's just going to be here floating. Uh, he might notice these first, but this is here. Um, and uh, we'll see how long that stays there for. <laughs> how long do you think it's going to take XB to notice all the diamonds around the place? Let me know down in the comments below and we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, we have other things we need to attend to. What I do actually want to do now that the pillar competition is pretty much all said and done, I actually want to take down my pillar and see how many stacks in total I ended up mining for this little challenge here. Like, I, I really need to find out, I really need to know, and I'm extremely curious. And plus, you know, this stuff doesn't look pretty anyway, so I think it's pretty much time for at least my chunk to go. I don't know what anybody else is doing with theirs, but 
I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop mine down. <laughs> I'm still gonna silk it. I'm not I'm not ready to fortune it just yet, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take this thing down. Beautiful. Now that's mine down. It looks a little neat already. We'll see what Scar and Gree and Doc also do with theirs, but uh, I've picked them all up, and I kind of did. I accidentally fortuned one of them, but. Otherwise, we got all. And how many stacks of diamond deep slate ore blocks do you guys think we have? I'm about to reveal it in three, two, one. And here we go. Look how many stacks of a deep slate diamond ore we have. It is eight stacks plus 19. And of course, the one that we mined, I already had some diamonds in my inventory, so they ended up stacking with those. But uh, eight stacks? That's, that's pretty good. And yes, I did put on hitboxes to make sure I didn't lose... What is going on with your beard, my friend? <laughs> to make sure I didn't lose any uh, diamonds in the fall. Um, this is an interesting assortment of animals. Anyway, yeah. So eight stacks of deep slight diamond ore. I'm very curious how many actual diamonds that turns into in time. I will mine them in a different episode, though. Save that as a little secret for later, hey? But uh, beautiful. I have to find a place to store those. Okay. Now that the diamond stuff is sorted, it's time to get to the grindy stuff. We are finally back in the mega base area once again and ready to make more progress. It's been a hot minute since we've been here, you know, with the exception to the bridge, of course, but just in terms of working on the actual terrain, we haven't touched it in a while due to working on the shop and it's time to bring that love and attention right back to it again. I need to start building some structures for this mega base area because I have been basically living it in kind of a cave or just a hole in this ground ever since I moved to this zone and things are getting a little bit out of hand down here. Like I have all these chests that I've also just collected for our project to come. We have the moss farm, we have even more chests, we have the cactus farm. I've even got a bee farm that I made in this little door down here. Look at this, I got some bees producing some honeycomb, it's been great. And uh, this room is of course my storage room. And um, these chests are absolutely horrible. And I was running out of space so much that I expanded, as you can see, onto the ground. And all of these chests are just higgledy piggledy, jumbled up. They're horrible. You can't find anything you need in them, except for this one that's all wood. It's, it's great, fantastically organized, but it's just really messy. I don't know how Green and Scar Duke can do this for an entire season. It would drive me crazy trying to find anything that I want. And that is why we need to fix this right now. I, I, I can't deal with this. I just, I just can't deal with this. I have spent the better part of a week after feeling better trying to come up with a mega base structure style that I liked for the top part of my base. You know, I know what I want to do underneath, but the top part was a bit of a harder one to come up with for the style of my structures. You know, I started sketching out some little homes and I got these. Splash the little picture up on the screen right now. I sketched these out and I tried to build them in Minecraft, but it just wasn't floating my boat. You know, it was a sinking ship. <laughs> so I scrapped that idea and then I came across a build that I did as an experiment for an old snapshot that was, you know, quite alien and then I felt I could maybe take it in that direction you know, kind of inspiring myself in a way, but then I wasn't sold on it. Plot twist, I'm not showing it right now because after talking to my lovely friend Mythical Sausage, he, he, yeah, I, I was convinced. <laughs> I definitely was convinced. And finally, I thought maybe a bit of a humanized industrial feel could work like this. You know, like like this little piece right here. Uh, yeah, it, you know, I say humanized because it could have been an alien industrial, but I decided to try a humanized industrial approach. And, you know, this is kind of where I turned around and also said nope. So great. Since coming across my old concept piece that I was convinced by, we're going to come back down into this room right here. I have been collecting resources for about one or two days now in the hopes that this is going to be enough to complete our project. Now, I, of course, have also bought some resources. I got some prismarine from Gem as well as some sea lanterns. And then I got some extra stacks of copper from Corrales, who has actually lent these to me. So I've got to return these back to him later. But uh, this is certainly going to be handy in my build at current time. So, you know, now that we have these resources, I, I reckon we're pretty much ready to get this build started. So how about we roll a little time lapse and I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit once it's done. Let's get going. Well, 
Um, you know, the copper still needs to oxidize to the right color on a bunch of these areas, but the first official alien-like structure is now built. Check it out. Accompanied by some very colorful odd plants as well, I think we're finally starting to settle in a bit. It actually looks like we have established ourselves on this area of terrain here and I couldn't be happier. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like look at this scene that I have just created with all of these little pieces, you know, coming together. I, it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's looking great. It's looking great. Now, of course, like I did mention, this build did actually originate from an older build that I created as a bit of a test for a snapshot Minecraft version. And I think it's the perfect style for the top part of the terrain. It certainly adapted into the landscape well with all of the flora that I've created surrounding it. And in general, fits the color scheme that I was going for, which like, kind of feels like slightly a bit of a mess, but also organized chaos at the same time. I do have to say as well, like this whole thing uses some really, really weird blocks. I've decided to use purple, which I never use by the way, uh, purple stained patterns terracotta thing. I never use that either, like ever. Uh, <laughs> amethyst blocks themselves. And of course, warped hyphae, which is also pretty hard to use. I love the animation, by the way. Look at that, look at that animation on that. But it, yeah. It uses some really, really weird blocks, but it, oddly, I think it works really, really well, and I love it. Just don't look too close at the trees, because, uh, yeah, that's not exactly the prettiest thing to look at. I definitely would say that there is a mushroom influence on the civilization choice here, so, you know, I've created smaller, various mushies around as well. We have the brown one down there with some lovely hanging soul lanterns off it. We have the small ones on the sides of the terrain right here as well. They also need to oxidize. They're supposed to be blue, but yes, we have those. We have some medium ones dotted off to the sides in some areas. Uh, you know, that like, once again, Needs to oxidize, has to be blue, but it's getting there. And of course we have the big one itself, which I'll consider like kind of a fungus of some kind. It's a bit more stylish than a typical mushroom, but I think I would still consider it a mushroom. <laughs> Look at the shape of this thing. See, it's even got its own cap. It's got kind of a stalk coming out the bottom and we'll kind of go around to the back. I'm not as happy with the back yet, but it's, it's a work in progress. And uh, I think I also see I need to Use some honeycomb on those three blocks right there. Four blocks, sorry. Let's fix that. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Okay, and one more. Hold on, let me get the last one. I see you down here, little cheeky block. Boink, boink. Much better. This is why I made the bee farm. I figured I would really need it for this, this reason. I would definitely say that, you know, the whole mushroom thing kind of meshes well with my trash shop. Too, don't you think? Because I've also got some like mushrooms growing on the sides of my shop walls as well. I don't know what it is with me this season, but mushrooms just seems to work out. So I, I guess that's what I'm doing. But yeah, this is the outside looking pretty great. We also have this path coming down from the mushroom thing. I don't even know what to call this mushroom thing itself. Comes down to here, drops off, and then the path kind of continues around to the sides a little bit. So it's kind of starting the foundational establishment for getting more of this built along the place when we establish more paths intertwining around each other and throughout the terrain. And I am very excited for that. I can't wait to see the terrain covered in a landscape like this. Anyway, let's get ourselves inside and let me show you guys the interior of this thing. Now, it's not exactly decorated fully yet. Like you walk in and we have this room right here and our colorful assortment of shulker boxes from building this thing. Yeah, once again, things I need to sort out. But this level is boring. The level up here is also boring. It's got nothing. This level up here also has nothing, but I will be doing interior for those. At the moment, I kind of had to focus on the most important one, which was the basements, because that is where our storage is at and would you look at this isn't this beautiful i love the palette that i have down here it definitely feels like a basement with all the different stone types i use blast furnaces for the uh the sides here and the texture on top of it kind of works really now really nice as a border block we've got the prismarine for a bit of a darker blue bringing out the blues from the top of the build down a little bit lower i've got amethyst kind of growing down here as well because i had an issue of some of the dirt poking through the ceiling so i had to replace it with something <laughs> And we have the lovely chest just nestled in the walls, waiting to be sorted properly. It's, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. It's still not a massive storage room, but I think it's like, it's like that medium storage room, right? You have your starter storage, then you get your medium storage, and then you get like the super big massive storage that's almost like an automatic sorter. So I think this is gonna work really well. And uh, yeah, that does mean the next step that I have to do is actually to sort all of the items from my starter base and the the, the really rough one that I made before. 
the one in this area that looks terrible it is all over the floor that's oh, it's gonna be so much better once we actually finish it it's gonna be fine before i do that like, let me show you guys this little area look i got myself a little chorus plant it, that's like the flowering bulb of it you need to shoot it with a bow to, to get that off the top of that and i think it's just really cute here as an alien quote unquote alien bit of flora inside i put down a little amethyst crystal as decoration on my end of chest and i think it's really cute it's like a little clasp uh or clasp whichever way you want to say it and i have my little egg i brought it over from the top of my the terrain where we originally dug the hole and I brought it in here and it's looking all cute look at me little spinning around <laughs> but yes so that's pretty much all I've done in terms of the inside of this base I just had to get the storage done uh, and at least the outside done and I think it's looking looking pretty good hey Mr. Piggy <laughs> however though guys I'm not gonna make you guys sit through you know, watching me sorting out my chest for hours on end. So I'm actually going to end the episode here, sort everything out in between episodes, come back and it'll all be done. It'll be very satisfying, okay? I'm going to do that. So I'm going to end the episode here. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for all the support on my Hermitcraft series and for being patient with me with everything. I appreciate you all so much. Also, uh... We hit 600,000 subscribers, like, I think it was a couple days ago, yesterday or a couple days ago. That is insane. Thank you all so, so very much for 600,000 of you absolutely wonderful human beings out there. You all are fantastic and I appreciate your support so very, very much. It's been a wild ride, super crazy, and I, I really can't believe <laughs> how much like change Minecraft has added into my life. It's it's insane. So I love you all so very much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, so crazy, crazy much. That's, that's fantastic. Oh my word. Either way, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm not going to rant your ears off. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching this episode today. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down in the comments below. I almost hit that pillar. <laughs> and if you have any feedback for the episode, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye guys. Goodbye. Oh, look at that beautiful structure behind me. <laughs> Bye, everybody.